Da -da, da -da. Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the uh, new Team of the Week cards, and uh, in the next video I'll do my pack opening, so don't worry about that. So, uh, Team of the Weeks, here they are, uh, JJ Watt, 93 overall, and uh, Aaron Rodgers, 91 overall. What's up with them giving all the quarterbacks 91? Actually, all, weren't the, oh no, Doherty was 90, and Matt Ryan was in 89. Alright, never mind, why'd they get... I feel like Aaron Rodgers should have got better than 91. I don't even agree with their crap anyway because they didn't give Antonio Brown a card. They did give Steve Smith, which I'm happy about because I'm going to get that card. Uh, but that Antonio Antonio Brown should have got a card. Like, it shouldn't just be – like, I see what they try to do. They try to give you a card that's not good in Matt Asiata, then a decent card in Eddie Royal, then a good card in Larry Donnell, and then a great card in Steve Smith, and an even better card in Aaron Rodgers. But it just is, it just doesn't make any sense to me uh, that players like the Cutler and Marshall, what was that, two or three weeks ago, didn't get a card. Neither of them got a card from Football Outsiders or from Team of the Week. If you got a one-week, give us eight Team of the Week cards. Do it. Like, I don't understand this whole notion that they can only give five offensive and five defensive players. It just annoys me, and it just doesn't make any sense. Um, what was it? This week, they should have given, um, and I can't even remember, but they should have given other people cards. I mean, every week there's people that get snubbed. Uh, they need to do, after like nine weeks, uh, Team of the Week snubs who didn't get a card that should have and just release like a 20-card collection with all of those cards. Uh, because there were a bunch of cards, the people that should have gotten cards that just didn't. Um, I'll go over these real quick. Let me go and show you guys the new solo challenge all the way over here. Oops, I clicked head to head seasons, which, you know, you know, people keep asking for gameplay. I still haven't played that. That's still there for me to do, uh, the playoff series. I still haven't played online. I haven't played like any in the last week. I've been busy with college. I had college testing all last week. Uh, but here's the new solo challenge. Uh, you get a thousand coins, you get two badges, and the uh, team of the week item for um, uh, the collection for the John Madden that we'll get after week 17. Um, that that John Madden for week 17 better be. I don't even know. I don't even know if I, I didn't even look. It might actually say. I'll go check after this before I look stupid. Um, but what I think for the team of the week, what if I go on vacation for a week? Like, am I not allowed to go on vacation? Or what if I have a crap ton of homework and I just can't play Xbox? I just don't have time to take the 30 minutes to sit down and play a solo challenge. Um, I just get screwed. You gotta play, you have to play the solo challenge once a week. If you will go on vacation for a seven day vacation, you're screwed. You, you literally have to have someone get on your account to play a solo if you want that John Madden. It should be, uh, you know, the preseason one came out, then week one should have come out, and then when week two came out, the preseason one would come out. And, uh, see, that would give people more time. If you go on a two-week vacation, I, I guess you're screwed, but not many people go on two-week vacations um, all that often. Uh, a one-week vacation is very viable, which I think I might be taking before week 17, so... I might be. I might have to have someone get on my account and play this stupid ass solo for me, so I can get that John Madden. Um, but that's just a little bit of a rant. Let me go check this John Madden. I don't even know if it said what chem it is. Ah, uh, it doesn't. They better let you pick your chem. They better let you pick your chem for being dedicated and playing for 18 weeks. They should give you the chem of your choice, or a John Madden that just gives plus 20 boost to every chem, because if you dedicate all this time and you like to have a high chem or style, I'm a mutt veteran, so when I say chem, I mean style. Um, if you want to have a high style like I do, like I try to do, I know my man defense is crap right now, but it's probably it needs to be zone or runs, I don't even know. They're all like 20, but... Uh, I like to have a high style. It just makes the game a little bit more interesting. Um, but that's just what I'm saying. All right, let's get into the team of the week. I just spent four minutes and 40 seconds not even showing any cards, just rambling. Uh, but that's how my videos go. So first, let's go over Matt Asiata. Right now, he is 9K. He's an 83 overall halfback. 
Uh, let's see here. He's got 95 trucking, so he would be a good solo challenge halfback. This will be a nice budget halfback for you guys. I'm um, just looking at his stats right right now. This will be a great budget halfback for you that for you guys that haven't spent any money and are just grinding solos. He's got really good trucking and really good carrying, and by the end of the week he'll be one or two k. Uh, probably, maybe five or four, I don't know. I don't know how much these cheap ones go for, but he'll be a nice back, um, in my opinion, for you guys that, um, for you guys that, what am I trying to say, for you guys that need a running back for solos, trucking is the best for solos, uh, don't get caught up in speed for solos, uh, trucking is what matters the most for solos, in my opinion, uh, so he's a he's a pretty good card. Um, I actually played against the guy with him um, in fantasy, and so I think I'm down like 30 points. But I have Brady, Alex Smith, Jamal Charles. I don't even know if Charles is playing. I just took the risk and played him, and I feel like and the Patriots defense still to play tonight. So I think I can cover the 30 or 40 points, however much I have to cover. Um, Eddie Royal is the next card who had an amazing game for the Chargers. He is currently 10K. I might actually pick Eddie Royal up, uh, just because he's a Charger and I like the Chargers. And he's my chem, so I could use him. Um, but he's got 93 speed, which is nice. Uh, catching traffic is 85, 85 route running, and 86 spec catch. So, pretty decent stats there. 88 catching, that's not the greatest, but it's, it's good for this time in Mutt for, uh, whatever, an 84 overall card. 88 elusiveness and 83 awareness. So he will be a nice card for you guys uh, who are looking for budget teams. He's going to be cheap too. Uh, he'll probably be 6, 7K by the end. He's already down to 10. Well, I guess he's down to 16. That guy posted his up for cheap. He might he might hover around 10 to 16, but I would expect him to drop to 7 or 8 at a certain time if a promo happens. Uh, next is Larry Donnell. Had that amazing game for the Giants. I'm happy he got a card. 85 overall seems a little high for me, in my opinion, uh, seeing as when Gates had three touchdowns, they only gave him a two overall boost. I don't know what Larry Donnell's base is, but... I don't know. They they seem to do this, all right? They seem to, the cards that weren't good, that were like a 70 or 60 overall, they tend to boost them up like 10 or 15. And then the cards that were good or decent in Gates, is set case, he was an 84, they only bump them up like 2 to an 86. Like, can we get a little bit of more of a boost here? Uh, but Larry Donnell is 30K. Take a look at his stats. He's got 70 run blacking, which is actually decent. Um, I don't even know who the best run blocking uh, tight end is. Uh, 70 seems to be around what the best tight end run blocking is. 90 catching and 91 catching traffic. 84 speed is pretty good. We'll throw him up against Gates because I have the 84 Gates. And you can see he's a once faster. He's got 12 better catching traffic, 8 better run blocking, uh, 8 better strength. Why is Gates better? Because oh, Gates has 91 awareness and Larry Donnell has 70. Uh, so that's Larry Donnell. Now let's get into the probably the only card I'm going to try to get. I don't really have any interest in getting that J.J. Watt. I really have no interest in paying that much. I'm happy this is for a quarterback because that'll make this Steve Smith card cheaper. Um, and he's currently 190. Yeah, 195K. Um, he's long past chem. 90 speed, 92 awareness, 90 catching, 86 elusiveness, 89 spec catch. 78 release, 84 route running, and 93 catch in traffic. I, I used to draft this guy every year in fantasy. I didn't get the chance this year. I, I let him go too long, and I didn't get to draft him. Um, but I drafted him for six or seven straight years in, like, the sixth or seventh round of my fantasy leagues. And he's just a stud. Uh, probably, um, let me think. Him, Calvin Johnson, and Deshaun Jackson are, are all tied up there for my favorite wide receiver in the league. Uh, but I just love Steve Smith. Uh, he's he's just he's just pretty darn awesome. Uh, he's been a beast. I don't know why the Panthers let him go. It's like the same thing with the Saints. Why did the Saints let Darren Sproles go? But hey, um, you know what I'm gonna be pissed about if some Patriots players have a really nice game tonight. Like what if Revis has like two picks and like pick six, and I'm not gonna get a Revis team of the week card. That would just be I'd be pissed. Football outsiders better do something about that. If a Patriots player has a really good game, I want a player. I want a card. I want more Patriots cards. They're good. Uh, the collectible is the 22-yard um, touchdown pass. Uh, the Packers. That Packers Bears game was good for a while, and then the Packers just pulled away. Uh, the collectible is currently 6K. So if you pull the collectible, nothing to be too excited about. But I guess it's better than 
some of the crap you can pull in packs. <laughs> uh, let's move over to the uh, off the defensive. Sorry, uh, we're gonna start with Justin Durant, another uh, Cowboys linebacker. Is this the third? I think it's the second. Bruce Carter and him, but there might be another one. Um, but he's currently 20K, so this is looking good for the defensive side. You may be able to make some coins if you pull some Team of the Week on the defensive side. He's got some decent stats, 88 speed, 96 pursuit, 80 zone. He can play some zone. There are a lot of left outside linebackers that can't play any zone. I might actually pick up this Justin Durant uh, because I want my left outside linebacker to play some zone, but I don't want to pay 20K for Justin Durant yet. I'll wait until he goes down. Uh, 89 Excel, 91 Tackle. Uh, I think this might be my new pickup. Uh, what's his man? I'm a little bit interested in that. Just to see if I'd be able to play him in a little man coverage every once in a little while. Alright, 70 man. Not terrible. So I might actually pick this Justin Duran up uh, probably next Sunday uh, when they're the cheapest. Or maybe Friday before the Legends come out. I don't know, or Saturday when the Legends come out. Uh, next is Mike Adams uh, for the Colts. He had uh, two interceptions and three pass breakups, uh, allowed only a 39.6 QB. That's not even, he doesn't, okay, within his zone. All right, I guess, I guess, but I don't know how you exactly judge when a play and what's in his zone, but 89 speed, 80, oh, this isn't that great of a card. Uh... Do I have anything comparable? I guess I can throw Clinton Dix up against him. Um, that hit power worries me at 78. I like my safeties to have some decent hit power. I mean, 78, I might as well just go out and get Ed Reed. Like, with his 73, Ed Reed's a better, um, he's got a better player rack. I don't know. Um, but compare him up against Clinton Dix. Clinton Dix is two overall lower and by the look at the stats, I take Clinton Dix uh, for the hit power, the acceleration, and the speed. Um, not that great of a card, in my opinion. Uh, if you're a Colts fan, I pick it up, but I don't suggest that to anyone who's not a Colts fan or Mike Evan or Mike Adams fan. Uh, that that's just I don't know. That card just doesn't look good to me. Uh, next is Parrish Cox. He had did he have two interceptions? I don't even remember. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. No, he had one. Oh, he had that fumble recovery. That was pretty much an interception because <laughs> he caught it as it was fumbled into his arms. That's why I thought it was two interceptions. Uh, he is actually a pretty darn good card. I might pick him up. Uh, I might sell Tlaib and pick this guy up just to have something new on my team. Uh, 91 man, 97, 93 zone. If you play him, you got to pull him off if you press corners like I do. I'll have to pull him back. I'll have to remember to do that every play because he's got 78 press. Uh, if I ever play against people, I'm going to get burned. 92 speed and 94 excel. Which at this point will keep him up with almost every receiver. Uh, Deshaun, Devin Hester, uh, Marcus Goodwin, uh, Mike Wallace. There's a few that could burn him, but 92 speed is pretty good. There aren't that many high speed uh, corners. And so Parrish Cox is actually a pretty good option. I might have to pick him up, but since he's for this J.J. Watt, he probably will stay at least above 50K, I would assume. So that kind of hurts that. Uh, Michael Johnson... Holy crap. Uh, Michael Johnson, there are two up. Cheapest one's 500k just because of the J.J. Watt. I guarantee you there's no J.J. Watts up. Uh, this Michael Johnson's got 94 finesse. I don't even know why I'm going. Who's going to get this Michael Johnson to use him on their team? It's not going to be worth it ever unless you're a huge Buccaneers fan. There's no point to get this card because you'd be going to stay above 200k, I think. It should stay above 200k This J.J. Watt's going to be unreal at this point in Madden. Uh, but 86 speed, 93 excel, 93 tackle, 94 finesse. Only an 82 block shed, but hey, not not terrible. Um, had a pretty badass week uh, as the Buccaneers upset the Steelers. On uh, the 80-yard interception touchdown that J.J. Y had, that was awesome. His collectible is still kind of worth it. It's still worth it to pull. Collectibles are worth it to pull because they don't take away your gold or elite that you could pull. So they're always worth it to pull. Um it's currently 20k. Uh, if you have one, I'd sell it immediately because they're going to drop because they don't matter. It's always the players. And since now elite players are now getting team of the week cards, um, because remember earlier there would only be like maybe one uh, like in these earlier weeks, but now they're getting one on the offense and the defense. So let's see if there's any Aaron Rodgers or J.J. Watts up. I highly doubt there's a J.J. Watt up. 
but we can see his 91 or 90 overall one doesn't even go up, so I'd be really surprised if uh, his 93 one is up. But we can take a look. Why not take a look? What? Oh, there is. Two people have already finished the collection. Huh. I did not expect one to be up. 750K right now. 95 tackle, 92. Wow, 97 power moves, 97 block shed. Holy shit. Uh, 85 play rack, 68 finesse. Who cares about his finesse? Um, let's see here. Go in here. What's his catching? <laughs> He's got a 72 catching. That's awesome. Uh, 82 jumping. I would have liked to see a little bit higher jumping for JJ Swat. Uh, let's see down here. 85 play rack. I guess you could drop him into a little bit of a zone. He's got 55. Uh, 69 spectacular catch. All right. Uh, 85 hit power. It's a pretty beast card. I have zero interest in picking it up for the price he's going to be. Um, so you won't see that card on my team. So since there's Watts up, there's obviously, I'm pretty sure, going to be Rogers ups. Let's see here. Yep, there are two Aaron Rodgers up. Wow, for 260k. I almost want to buy that and try to sell it, but uh, probably won't have that. Uh, let's see here. 80 speed, all right. 88 throw accuracy mid. What? Uh, 93 throw accuracy short and 90 throw accuracy deep. Uh, play action is 86. 47 elusiveness. 96 throw power, all right. So you can get it down the field deep. He is my chem, but I don't really want to pay over like 50k for a quarterback. I could just use Vic. Uh, let's see. Anything good in here? 84 Excel. Uh, let's take a look down here. Ball carrier visions a 77. You can do a little spin and juke, but they're not very good, so I wouldn't really try that. Um, let's see here. Throw on the run is an 87. I wouldn't run him too much. Uh, he's got 92 stamina, which is kind of low, uh, so I wouldn't run him all that much. But uh, that's going to do it for the new Team of the Week cards. Let me know what you guys think of it, and let me know who you guys think got uh, snubbed from getting a uh, Team of the Week card. I should, I think Terrence Williams should have got one, but I think they make these cards after the 4 o'clock games. No, they don't, because Justin Durant got one for the Cowboys. Terrence Williams should have got one. He had two touchdowns. Uh, he had a pretty good game. DeMarco Murray had a pretty good game again, rushing for a buck fifty or a 149 and two touchdowns. Uh, really helping me out in fantasy on FanDuel. That's why I'm going to be doing the bundle because I'm a man of my word. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.